What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the JDRC's JD20S. It is the 720p Wi-Fi FPV, 120 degree field of view, foldable DJI Mavic Air Clone Toy Drone, ready to fly. The JDRC JD20S, or ELVES it is also called, features a foldable arm design and has foldable props as well for easy transportation. It has a 720p 120 degree wide angle lens camera which can be tilted for desired video capture. The on and off push button switch is conveniently placed on top of the canopy and a short press will turn the quadcopter on and a long press will turn the quadcopter off. Once on, there are bright LED lights on each of the motor pods bright white headlights in the front and more lights on the top of the canopy as well as the on and off switch. Looking at the bottom, there are four landing legs covered with soft rubber caps and the Wi-Fi FPV circuitry with the built-in DVR for recording photos and videos via a micro SD card. When a micro SD card is absent, then the video recording will be saved to the Wi-Fi phone app called YHFPV app, downloadable in the App Store or the Google Play Store. The battery bay is in the back of the quadcopter and the battery is a 3.7 volt 1800 milliamp battery with a flying time of 15 minutes and it charges up in about one to two hours. The remote control has a hidden phone clip for Wi-Fi FPV purposes and holds up to an iPhone 6 Plus without a case. The functions of the remote control are as follows. The on and off switch. Throttle, yaw, pitch, and roll. Short press this button to take a photo. Long press this button to take a video. But models with Wi-Fi FPV will need to use the Wi-Fi phone app to take the photos and videos. Here is the speed changing button and speeds are 1, 2, and 3. And here is the emergency stop button which shuts off the motors even in mid-air. So be careful not to press in mid-flight unintentionally. Flip button here for 3D rolls. One key return button here. Headless mode button here and down pressing the throttle stick is the one key to take off and down pressing on the pitch and roll stick is the one key to land. And there are trim buttons here, 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 here to correct drifting problems and it takes three AA batteries. Both sticks to the bottom and out will arm and disarm the motors. Both sticks to the bottom and in will calibrate the gyros. Inside the box, you will find the instruction manual, an addendum to the instruction manual for the Wi-Fi FPV phone app and the QR code to download it. A bag of goodies containing extra props, charge cable, and a screwdriver, and another bag containing the prop guards, which are very easy to install and remove. And if you are a beginner, I do recommend that you use the prop guards to protect the props and in turn protect the motors. All right, here we go with the JDRC's JD20S. It's a little bit of a gloomy day today, but there is no wind right now. Yesterday, I wasn't able to fly it. It was a beautiful day, but there was tons of wind. So I wasn't able to fly this thing, but today we are going to check it out. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to fly it with the hard remote solo without the Wi-Fi phone app turned on. As a matter of fact, I turned my Wi-Fi completely off on my phone, so I won't get any interference at all. So we can check it out just the hard remote solo. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Short press and turning on the remote automatic bind let's check it out with the bolt sticks to the bottom and in we'll calibrate the gyros there we go calibrated the gyros just like that 
Right on. So let's go and check this baby out. Uh, arming the motors, both six to the bottom and out will arm the motors. There we go, arming the motors. And both sticks to the bottom and out again. We'll disarm the motors. Pressing down on the throttle is the one key to take off. Pressing down on the pitch is the one key to land. So let's try and see if it takes off. Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. It has a little bit of a drift to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and I did just calibrate the gyros and there's no breeze there we go that's what trim buttons are for nice little hover just about all right so we got altitude hold on this one and we're supposed to have 15 minutes of flight time with the 1800 milliamp battery so here's speed number one oh that's pretty nice this thing flies really nice. Nice and accurate and responsive. Oh yeah. Ah, very nice. Let's go to speed number two. Okay, I think the pitch got a little deeper. The yaw, and maybe a tiny bit faster. Oh, but this thing flies really nice. Very accurate. And very precise. in the controls. With the hard remote. Wow. This is a nice one. Speed number three. Okay. The pitch got deeper, but the yaw still remains around the same. Oh, but it's super nice. Oh, very, very nice beginner quadcopter. Wow. All right. Right side flip. Left side flip. Rear flip. Forward flip. All directional flips. And one key to return. Okay, it's kind of going that way a little bit. Pressing the... One key to return gets you out. Let's see if it gets out by redirecting it. Yep, gets out by redirecting it as well. Awesome. So here's headless mode. Going to the left, going to the right while in a full yaw spin. So headless mode works great. And you can see that the lights are blinking, indicating headless mode. No annoying beeps, so that is nice. All right, I think that's just about everything there is on the remote control functionality here. So let me bring it in here and give it a one key to land. And you can redirect this path. And I got my landing pad out. So there we go. Very, very nice behavior. All right, here we go once again. This time around, I got my phone connected via Wi-Fi connectivity and I got the application already open so I'm going to go ahead and screen record so you guys can see what the app looks like and there we go we are screen recording and I'm gonna hit that play button and we got FPV and kind of a gloomy day FPV but it's looking pretty nice there is a slight rim around the left side here yeah i see that and on the right side so the camera housing i'm able to see the camera housing in the view just a little bit so yeah that's not very desirable so you can do that in the edit maybe you know cut that out or something like that so let's go ahead and take some photos first and i got the camera all the way up and it's slightly above horizon so that is just awesome so let's go ahead and take some photos Okay, I don't hear any shutter button and my mute is off or on so let's check it out one more time there we go there's a little shutter okay all 
All right, not much of a view because it is so cloudy, but there's some photos there. All right, so let's go ahead and take a video. And I do have a micro SD card inserted in here. So we're gonna be recording it directly to the micro SD card, hopefully. It did work at home, testing it out. There's a red dot blinking away. And if you look underneath closely, there is a blue light in the Wi-Fi FPV circuitry that is blinking away as well. So we know that it is recording. Hopefully it's blinking away. Yes, it is blinking away. So there you go. We are good to go. So we're going to fly this thing with the hard remote and do some FPV with the phone app. Let me go ahead and place the phone in the clip and bring it right side up. There we go. All right. So let's go and check it out and see if this thing can do some Wi-Fi FPV. Screen recording? Yes. And video is recording. One cue to take off. Okay, that looks like a pretty decent altitude there. So let's check it out. Oh, this is nice. It's got a pretty good video. And yeah, I am able to do FPV with this thing. So far, no problems. Okay, there I am. Going over me, and it should be right there. Nice. So far, no lag, no breakups. Oh, this is awesome. Woohoo! Yeah, this is nice. Oh man, this is real nice. Oh yeah, you can FPV with this thing. Let me raise it up in altitude and do a little pan. Oh, how awesome is that? Let me go towards the lake and turn around. There I am. Oh, so accurate. There's no delay in the remote control. I haven't had a delay or a breakup yet. Oh, there's a little delay and a little breakup. Okay, let me bring it back. Yeah, that's kind of far away, so I forgive you. And there you go, coming over me. Turning around and going the opposite way. It should be right here. Awesome. Oh, this is nice. It'll probably work even better with a Wi-Fi repeater, but so far it's doing fantastic. <laughs> All right, so let's give it a landing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it closer to the landing pad, my new humongous landing pad, and one key to land. And come on, don't miss the big landing pad. All right, so there you go. Wi-Fi FPV flight with the JDRC's JD20S. Awesome. All right, here we go once again with the JDRC's JD20S. And this time I turned my hard remote control off. So we are connected only with the Wi-Fi phone app. So let's go ahead and start the on-screen recording once again. There we go, on screen recording is on, hitting that play button, and yes, we have Wi-Fi connectivity here, and let's see, turning on the display brings up all the virtual sticks, uh, we got a, even a microphone here, and this one here um, arms the motors, and emergency stop, on the left there's the one key to take off, and on the right there's the one key to land, we even have a gyro. So we're going to check out the gyro. I'm not sure about the voice control. But let's go up in speed to 100%. So we'll check it out with 100%. And let's go ahead and record video. And what I did was I took the micro SD card out. So now we are going to be recording it directly into the phone app. And thus my camera roll. 
all right so let's go ahead and hit that video icon and it changes uh it is now yellow and there's a yellow counter underneath so different uh way of showing you that it is recording with the wi-fi phone app solo without the sd card inserted all right so let's go ahead and check this baby out let me go into the settings and calibrate the gyros there you go that's how you calibrate the gyros and i think that's just about it so let's go and check it out with the phone app let's hit that one key to take off oh yeah one key to take off works and we got altitude hold baby oh yeah good control so far going forward coming back left and right yeah we got some good controls here and let's see if i can fly about oh yeah you can fly around with the phone app with this quad cut they're very nice oh yeah very very nice okay so let's go and check it out let me drop it down in altitude just a little bit so it's in front of me and i don't have to hyper extend my neck okay let's check out the gyro and there we go going forward coming back oh yeah gyro mode always works great with these wi-fi fpv quads especially these fold out ones all right going forward there's no lag oh there's a little bit of a glitch right there it's too much pitch is what it is looks like look at that oh too much pitch going backwards going to the oh yeah it is so you don't angle your phone too much but forward is not bad but coming back look at that just gently come back but all in all it's working awesome all right so let's get out of the gyro mode and check it back out with the uh, virtual sticks huh let me check out the voice control too while we're at it forward forward go forward backward oh shit forward yeah for some reason forward 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 all right voice control works let me get out where did it go all right there it is i can bring it back oh yeah voice control works too i didn't try left and right so let me go ahead and left go left forward 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 turn right right there you go left forward right forward 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 oh yeah voice control works all right not bad at all very very nice so we still got flight time eh yeah let me see if i can fpv with the phone app oh yeah we can fpv with the phone app there i am passing over me turning around passing over me coming my way now so it should be right there awesome you can fpv with the phone app and so far so good there it is all right let's take in some videos let it just hover do a little panning Oh, but welcome relief with all these clouds because it was about 110 degrees yesterday windy but 110 degrees so this is nice it's only 80 something degrees with all this cloud cover there's a chance of rain there's some verga that i can see off the distance so there is some moisture in the air oh this is nice so far everything has worked flawlessly just about hopefully we're taking some good videos too it has a backward drift so i have to forward pitch it a little bit 
So I can trim this thing too, can't I? Okay, I've trimmed it forward just some. <laughs> that's the first time I'm trimming something with the phone app. But there you go. That's how you trim the quadcopter with the phone app. Yeah, virtual trim controls on the right and below the sticks. Okay, so let me go ahead and bring it in. It's kind of behaving weird because I did that trim now. But so far, so good. All right, so let's go ahead and hit that one key to land and see if it starts to come down yeah it's it's not coming down yet okay one key to land yeah i think uh the lights are blinking too yeah it's starting to behave a little weird and the battery has just ceased let me go ahead and hit that video icon so i can get that recording hopefully i got that recording and that is the flight time of the JDRC's JD20. I still got a little bit of video. I think, well, I think maybe that is it. Yeah, I still got lights. What happened there? Did I just lose connection? Okay, I still got FPV, so I still got solid lights. And it did fall, and the arms folded in. So, these foldable quadcopters, that is one of the benefits of these foldable quadcopters when you hit something the arms fold in instead of breaking off so very very nice actually let me go ahead and flip it back out I still got solid light so I don't know what that was all about temporary loss of power okay yeah I still got connection here so huh anyways let me go ahead and turn it off turn the virtual sticks off and by doing that I should have a disconnect all right so we got a disconnect here got my hard remote back and let's see if we can connect with the hard remote yeah you know what I think it is this thing sits slightly tilted towards the back and that is why it's always drifting towards the back I think maybe we'll do the calibration slightly tilted up slightly forward so kind of Elevate it a little bit and bolt sticks to the bottom and in. Calibrates the gyros. Okay, so, so let's check it out with recalibrate it. And I'm going to stick my phone. We still got battery life. Look, the lights are solid. Watch, as soon as I take off, the lights are going to start blinking. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just Wi Fi FPV with the hard remote. Okay, so let's go and check it out one more time. And let me record once again to the Wi-Fi phone app. It is recording. Oh, look at that. It doesn't have a backward drift. Maybe a, just a slight one. Okay, maybe the battery is on the low. Yeah, it is just coming down. So that's how it behaves with the battery low. So emergency stop. There you go. That's what this emergency stop is all about. So even though the lights are kind of solid, yeah, I think it is slowly running out of battery. All right. So that is the flight time and my review and flight test of the JDRC's JD20S. All right, just got done checking out the JDRC's JD20S. Flown it with the hard remote solo and also the Wi-Fi phone app. And it did just fantastic utilizing both. And when I use the hard remote and use the phone app to do some Wi-Fi FPV, oh, that was awesome as well. Not much breakup at all. And you can do Wi-Fi FPV with this quadcopter. Just on par with the TianQ Visual Drone, just about. And it looks just fantastic with this DJI Mavic Air lookalike. Yeah, kind of like a toy clone of the DJI Mavic Air. Comes in this black color as well as this white color. So you get to choose from those two colors. Just an awesome quadcopter. That function just almost 
flawlessly and when it dropped from the sky i'm not sure but it was due to i believe the battery getting kind of weak uh, i still had connectability and everything and when it did crash the arms folded in so it safely kind of uh, absorbs the impact so that is just awesome and foldable props as well nothing broke so just awesome if it wasn't you know you could break an arm and the arm could uh, just break right off so very very nice quadcopter indeed there you go my review and test flight of the JDRC's JD20S thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time